Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. And if you're feeling extra crazy, drop a like and turn those notifications on. Welcome back everyone, how are we all doing? I know what you're thinking, Theo, how did you do in Foot Champions? Well, I managed to secure goal two late on a Sunday night with seven games left to play. So I finished 17 and... Um... 17 and 6? I think it was 17 and 6 if I had 7 games left to play. I could have gone for gold 1. Uh, Elite 3 was pretty much out of the question. I had to win every single game. It was very, very hard. I found this weekend extremely hard. I've just been playing Division Rivals today. And again, this is the hardest Division Rivals I've ever played with. I feel like they've changed some sort of setting where like, yeah, Division 1 is actually Division 1 now and it's super hard. But this is the team I've been using. Good day's growing on me. You know, A lot of people are saying he's not as good as, I, as he should be. Um, and I sort of agree. So we may be changing him very, very soon. Uh, but De Stegen in goal has simply been one of the best signings ever. One bad thing which is happening at the moment is the market has crashed. Okay, Rashford we bought for 250,000. Like a couple of days ago, we could have sold him for about 280. He's now down to 220. Same with Bruno. He went up and now he's back down to like 80,000 coins. So I want to hold on to them just in case they go up. And if I do sell them, I do lose a lot of money. But we're not exactly short for coins at the moment. We are currently sitting on 620,000 coins. And that is because I finally sold all those informs that were in my transfer list. Let's actually see who has sold as the as the coin total goes up. Or Black obviously sold for last episode. Finally, SGIO and Machele have sold. Dembele's finally sold. Draxler, Ospina, Traore. All these players have finally sold, which is good. We only went for a Palomino to sell. So finally, we're getting rid of the players in our transfer list. We do have some objective ticked off because basically we are cutting it very, very tight for season progress. We need another 14,000 XP in the next three days, which basically means I have to do every single objective there is left to do. I, I definitely think Sabitza is going to be the one for us. Three star skills, four star weak foot, high, high work rate. I'm hoping he's going to be a beast in the midfield and also link with Mukiele. I could go for Lacazette, but I don't really need a striker because I've got... Eto. But Nat as well looks like a very good defender. Four star skills, three star weak foot. Could link to the likes of Marquinhos. Could link to the likes of Mbappe, Neymar, maybe down the road. But for me, I feel like Sabitza is the one for now. I, I, I hope. But anyways, we do actually have a level 27 Premier League Prime Players Pack to unlock. Or Bundesliga or La Liga. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? La Liga gets us the likes of Messi. Bundesliga, I've got to be Premier League, surely we, we'll, we'll take Premier League, our team is Premier League based at the moment, uh, potential changes coming in today's episode, so we've got a Premier League Prime Players Pack, and then level 28, we unlock the Disco Ball, will we be using it? Um, I don't know, and then over on Milestones, we have unlocked, what is it, what is it, Champions Mastery, which is score at least two goals in 100 separate foot champion matches, and we get ourselves the old Foot Champions Pitch Trophy. In today's episode, we will be cracking on with the road to the final Correa. Uh, we need to work through it, which also will help us get the XP to get us the Sabitzer. We've been doing the week five and six. We've finally got two left to do for week six gold, which is when a squad battle match against the current team of the week, which is not currently working for some reason. So I'm going to have to wait till Wednesday when the new team of the week comes out and also earn three and a half thousand rival points, which we'll be able to do this week quite easily I think. Before we go ahead into those matches and potential new signings we're going to open these packs. We've got a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. I think these two came from the Squad Battle Rewards Premier League Prime obviously and the two pre-order packs. So let's get these Jumbo Premium Gold Packs opened. Come on let's get a banger. I want to see someone good. At least one walkout please. All I want from these five packs is one walkout. We get ourselves it is a board. Onana no striker in form i think yeah i've already packed this guy not very good the next jumbo premium gold pack so from the first one in inform 10,000 coins on the discard as you like you know not very not very bad and the next one cochran okay moving over to the pre-order rare gold packs come on then be it's slightly better than that last jumbo premium gold pack pre-order for a reason it's a walkout go on please be big please be big please 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 mexican no, no, no. Oh my god. This was the man we were buying in today's episode. We have just packed the guy we were going to buy. I, I hinted at it in the last episode. We were, maybe we're going to get a La Liga. Not La Liga. A Serie A player, Lozano. And we've just packed the person we were going to buy. Literally. In today's episode, we're buying Lozano in for 128,000 coins. I have him on screen right here. And also someone else to partner him. He is tradable. Why do I keep packing the perfect player? Every time I want to buy someone in an episode, I pack him. What an insane pack that is. 
Lozano, we were literally getting you in today's episode. So now it only, only leaves one more player to buy. I can't believe that. I was going to buy him before I opened his packs. Imagine if I did that and I've just packed him duplicate. Oh my word. That is perfect. I mean, it doesn't quite get anything better than that. We literally packed the player I was going to buy. In the next one, it doesn't even matter who we get. It don't matter. I'm not bothered. We've got 130,000 coin Lozano. 82 rated Maratta, always good for fodder to have in the club. Oh, mate, I'm gassed. I'm so gassed. And this, and this only bodes well. This only bodes well for the old Prime Premier League player pack. And here is the Prime Premier League player pack. I don't know what it is. I think it's 12 gold, 6 rares, all from the Premier League. Be a walkout? It's not a walkout. It is a board, though. Go on, then. Spanish Azpilicueta. It's actually going to be a duplicate because I bought him to do an SBC. So we are getting players that we need. And hopefully, if it's tradable... That's good. If it's untradable, it's not to worry because I've got a tradable version of Aspi in the club. These are untradable items. Jimenez. Jimenez. 84 rated untradable. Great fodder. Adama Traore. Great super sud. Sud. Sub. Dunk. He's, you'll see why that's important in a minute. But Aspi Laqueta swapping for my tradable one. That is... Wow. What? That is... That is great success. Great success. And I'll show you why, okay? So we're going to the Change the Rules SBC. And as you can see, I used a load of Brighton players. So there, there you go. So we're going to submit this one. I know it says minimum bronze, but I don't have enough bronze players in my club to do it. And we just get a UCL rare player back. That is all. And then as you can see, just then alongside this pack, we've also got the Felipe Anderson SBC. I used this team of the season, or yeah, team of the season in FIFA 20, Kaka Road to Glory. And it was simply incredible. So this is the team we're submitting. I actually just need to quickly recover Leno and I'll be right back. And look at that, Palomino has sold and also I have just recovered uh, Leno from the 12th of November and he should just be appearing right now. Leno, there you go, a 385 rated player which I quick sold and I knew I remembered, I knew I'd remember to get him back. I've actually written in my notes what day I quick sell these players so I can recover them. So Felipe Anderson should be complete and Leno should go straight into the team. And he has, and this is the team we're submitting. Obviously, 88 Tony Cruz is untradeable. We packed him, I believe, in last episode. Grealish, baller, but we're saying goodbye for a team of the season. No, we're not. It's a road to the final. Felipe Anderson. And I'm, I want to try him out, you know, Brazilian. He'll link with my team somehow. Uh, I, I've always rated him. He's four-star, four-star. And hopefully, he can, can be compared a little bit to his team of the season card from last season. He's obviously not going to be as good. But hopefully, at this stage of the game... Felipe Anderson, 84, will be good. And right now, this is cool because you can't hear it, but they'll actually play the Champions League music when you get a road to the final Champions League card. So that obviously leaves us with this UCL rare player. I, I can't imagine it's going to be good, but you never know. You never know. With the pack lock we've had in today's episode, you never know. Give me a walkout. It's not. It's not. Who is it going to be? Who is it going to be? Italian. Uh, Buffon? It is Buffon. I mean, 82 Buffon. Mm, can't complain. Now, quickly, before we get into the Korea challenges, which we obviously have Lozano to use. Now, we are going to go ahead and buy ourselves someone who will get some nice chemistry, and that is Dries Mertens. We're not going to get his Rule Breaker card because it is too expensive, but we are going to get his normal card. And actually, I think there's a way of getting these two into the first team as well. 8,500 for Dries Mertens, and it will link perfectly with our new Lozano on the right-hand side. Right. We've slapped a Hunter on Mertens up top, and Lozano's got a Marksman, which makes him actually a 90 rated winger. This is the team we've got to use. We've got the three Champions League rares on the bench. Time to get into the Korea challenges. And our first opponent has the Rabio and Lengle, who is a future signing, I think, for the Eto's Excellence. Decent side, but definitely beatable. Let's see what Lozano's like. First touches. Oh, what's awesome, There you go. Find him. I've heard he's extremely fast. Oh, he's rapid, that's for sure. Rabio into Mertens. Turns, hits it in the back of the net. What a debut. Lozano. Here we go. Oh, that might count as a through ball. Hit it. That might count as a through ball. If that's an assist from Osimhen, that is a through ball. And we need Syria through ball assists. So are you going to quit? Give us the win. He has. Let's go see if that counted. Let's have a look if it counted. It didn't count as an assist with a through ball. That is annoying. Assist three goals using... Yeah, why did that not count? Maybe Lozano took too many, too many touches. But anyways, we're three out of six for scoring of Serie A players. Four out of ten for assisting. And wait, why? Oh, don't tell me I didn't have eight Serie A players in. 
No! That is a rookie error. Obviously, I had Alex Tellers in at left back instead of Alexandro, who I used in an SBC. That is so, so annoying. Do I even have a Serie A left back in the club? Unless I put Ansaldi at left back. I don't really want to do that. Rodriguez, I guess. Actually, Mojica is 90 pace. We'll put him at left back. Oh, that is... That is annoying because that would have counted way towards the career challenges. Attempt number two, and this time we do have eight Serie A players, and it's a slightly better team than the last game. Oh, what? There's no way. How has Dybala managed to sneak his way through Kunde there? Oh, no. We had such a good start to only find out we forgot to put eight Serie A players on our team. No. Oh. Lozano, Mertens, Mertens, yes, 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 Mertens and Lozano. I got three goals between them in their first, like, less than 30 minutes of football. Oh, my God. Lozano. Finish it. Oh, it's a good save from Chesney once again. This time, another corner. Go on, Osimhen. Oh, he's in the back of the net. Osimhen is low-key. Very, very good. Oh, great. Oh, please, please. Oh, mate. Lozano Mertens. What a great partnership we have installed for us. Ah, oh, it's got to be a goal for him. Oh, to Stegen. To Stegen. Wow. He's, mate, I've, I've, I've made some seriously good signings in the last couple episodes. Remember, we need to score or assist with a through ball, like this. Oh, he's moved his keeper. We need to assist with an a Serie A through ball. That's a through ball, that's a through ball. Merton's just got to finish this one. Oh, he has, oh, he hasn't, no. Here we go, here we go. There's a through ball, Osimhen, finish it. No, Osimhen, come on. <sighs> oh, oh my God, to Stegen. Yes, that is it. Come on, if we can get a nice through ball. Go on, Ossiman. Go on, Ossiman. Ah, oh, mate, is this through ball goal ever going to come? Or is it just going to happen when I don't have Serie A players in the team? Oh. Oh, that would have been it if I'd gone near post, maybe. From the corner. From the corner. Oh, no. One last chance. One last chance. There's a through ball. Can we make another one? Can we make another one? Oh, what? No, it's a last ditch challenge from Manolas. We get the win. That is all important. Three goals and three assists with Serie A players. Just no through ball assists. Right, we are two out of four with the wins. Six out of ten with the assists. Four out of six with the goals. And still only one out of three that we have done the daily objectives. We get our XP. Road to Sabitza. So what an episode. We've got Felipe Anderson road to the final. We managed to pack Lozano, who we were going to buy in this episode. Mertens looks like a beast. Both Lozano and Mertens both have incredible first two games of the Eto's excellence career. Wow, if you have enjoyed this episode, please be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Road to 200,000 subs. And boys and girls, I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.